SpongeBob saves the day. Legend number five, Trench Billies. One day, SpongeBob and Patrick were chasing a jellyfish when they fell off a cliff. Down, down, down. Until finally they landed hard right on top of a trench billy. The trench billy drags them to the leader, Ma Angler. As leader of this clan, she growled, I must subject you to our clan initiation rats to see if you're worthy of living. A trench billy walked up to them with, a f wait, with his fiddle in his hand and he played a song. SpongeBob, I think it's meant to be a music challenge, Patrick whispered. So SpongeBob grabbed a pair of suspenders and fastened them to his pants. Then Patrick picked up SpongeBob and began to strum on his suspenders like a guitar. They passed the challenge. Phew. Next, it was time for the hootin' and hollerin' contest. The Trench Billy's best singer, Betsy, yodeled the loudest, strongest yodel she could muster. What are we gonna do? SpongeBob asked. I don't know, Patrick answered. But I sure am thirsty. Patrick opened a can of corn and began gulping and began gulping. SpongeBob grabbed the can and gulped down the rest. Afterward, they each let out the loudest, strongest burps ever. Uh... The crowd went wild. Next, they were challenged to a wrestling match. But SpongeBob and Patrick showed everyone how to jellyfish instead. At first, Ma Angler wasn't impressed. But then SpongeBob and Patrick jumped high into the air, collided, and collapsed. Ma Angler thought those were great wrestling moves, and she made them honorary trench billies. She gave them each a set of trench billy teeth. A few moments later, they learned that meant they'd have to stay there and take care of her forever. Hearing that, SpongeBob and Patrick ran as fast as they could back to Bikini Bottom, where they belonged. What would you do if you ever met a trench billy? Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for the final legend, Sponge Kano. See you later. Bye.